The Miami Dolphins are preparing for the start of Mike McDaniel's first training camp as a head coach in the next few weeks. Once the team returns to Miami Gardens, they will begin competing against each other in practice and a couple of other teams, Philadelphia and Tampa Bay, in joint practice sessions. For now, it's time to assess the roster and see where the team stands at each and every position. After looking at quarterbacks, running backs, and wide receivers earlier this week, we'll discuss the tight end group that hasn't had many changes to it from the end of last season. Mike Gesicki, entering this offseason, Gesicki's future with the Dolphins was up in the air, as he was set to become an unrestricted free agent. However, Miami opted to place the franchise tag on the Penn State product and keep him around for another year, as the team's top tight end, Gasicki will likely be asked to do a bit more for the offense this year from a blocking perspective with McDaniel installing his offense. If he can show he can at least be a competent blocker, the Dolphins may be willing to keep him beyond 2022 on a long-term contract. Durham Smythe Smythe is more of the blocker in Miami's offense, giving him a bit of a head up in adapting to the system. In 2021, he had his best season yet, producing 357 yards on 34 receptions, both career highs. Last year, the Dolphins ran at least two tight ends on 70% of their plays last season, while the 49ers did so just 17% of the time. While this would lead one to believe that Smythe may not get the playing time he did last year, his blocking acumen may make him more useful. Adam Shaheen, in two years, Shaheen has recorded just 24 receptions for 260 yards and three touchdowns with the Dolphins. He also doesn't bring much as a blocker despite his size. While Shaheen has been the third option in Miami for two seasons, but his time in that role could be coming to an end. They could save $1.8 million by releasing him, and they already have a young tight end that they used a third-round pick on to replace him, Hunter Long, here's that third-round pick, fans were disappointed that they didn't get to see more of the former Boston College Eagle in his rookie season. As he recorded just one reception for eight yards in his seven games played, if all goes to plan, Long should be ready to slide into that third tight end role, provide some solid depth and make a couple of plays, Seathan Carter. Arriving in Miami last season, Carter was essentially the special team's tight end, playing 61% of the snaps in that phase of the game while playing just 5% of the offensive plays. His spot on the roster will more likely be decided by the special team's strength and depth rather than that of the tight end position. Tanner Connor, as an undrafted free agent, it will be tough for Connor to make this roster. He has a better shot of showing that he could be a developmental piece that the Dolphins should keep on the practice squad.